Hello, Disney Card Toys here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Play-Doh wedding dress for this Anna doll. I am going to make this wedding dress using both regular Play-Doh and Play-Doh Plus. To start, just roll out a big piece of regular Play-Doh, and we're going to use a regular Play-Doh for her top. Let's cut a straight piece of Play-Doh off the top and a straight line on the bottom. And then I'm going to cut the top a little bit, just cut into it almost like a triangle shape, but a little more curved and that will give you a sweetheart neckline for her wedding dress and just kind of round it out after you cut the triangle out so it almost looks like a heart then I'm going to stick the play-doh to the Anna doll and this will help me size it because I know I did cut it a little big the heart-shaped neckline did turn out really well around though. the back and see these pieces are really long and just grabbing my play-doh knife and we'll cut a straight line off the back here on that piece we'll wrap the other piece around and then we'll cut off the extra play-doh there too. See the back looks really nice now, but we have a little bit of extra play-doh just right underneath her arms, so we can't move her arms down. So we just gotta cut off this excess play-doh just right underneath her arms and it comes off really easily with this play-doh knife. With the play-doh cut underneath her arms, the top looks really simple but yet elegant. The next thing I'm going to do for the wedding dress is cut out some sleeves. These are just going to be tiny sleeves. I'm going to cut them just kind of with a straight line on top and then a curve at the bottom. You want them to be pretty thin and a curve inward on the end pieces. For these sleeves, we're going to just attach the end of the sleeve just kind of at the top of her dress and then have it kind of roll around so it's just kind of hanging off her shoulder slightly. And then just do the same thing on the other side. And now for the fun part with the Play-Doh Plus. Just with your fingers flatten out the Play-Doh Plus and we're going to use this as the skirt. Now the Play-Doh Plus is much softer and stickier than regular Play-Doh and you can also form it a lot better with your fingertips. So what I'm going to do is just kind of roll it around her and it stretches pretty well too. Just kind of stretch it in the back just to make sure it fits. Now with her skirt, I'm going to just press it down a little bit, closer to her thighs, and then lift up the bottom of the skirt to make it poof out a little bit more. And the Play-Doh Plus is really nice. stick really well, and so you can make the skirt more thick, where with regular Play-Doh, it's so heavy, it will just kind of fall off if you make the skirt really thick. Now that I have the shape of the skirt that I want, I'm going to take my Play-Doh knife, and I'm going to just take the end of the knife and twist it into her skirt just to make a little, almost like a bow tie pattern. And this will give it more of a 3D look, more of a texture. And I'm kind of trying to make it look feathery. You want to take your Play-Doh knife and you want to make these shapes all around the skirt so that it looks the same in the front and the back. After making the texture design at the bottom of her skirt, I'm going to add a veil. And this is just a Barbie veil that I had growing up as a kid. A veil too out of Play-Doh, but I wanted a veil that was kind of see-through and meshy like this one, so that's what I'm using. But I have added Play-Doh to their hair before and there's so much hairspray in the doll's hair that the Play-Doh really doesn't stick, so don't be too worried about it. With the veil, Anna looks even more like a bride now. Here's a better look at the complete wedding dress ensemble. The top of her dress is very smooth and made from regular Play-Doh where the bottom of her dress is really thick and fluffy and made from Play-Doh Plus. Click on a picture to see more Play-Doh Barbie dress tutorial videos, and don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Hi, this is Princess Sophia the First, and today I'm going to make an apple pie. My Aunt Tilly, she taught me how to make an apple pie, and my family just loves having apple pies for dessert. So what I need to do is make a pie tin. I used some silver Play-Doh. Next, I'm going to make the bottom crust of the apple pie. All I have to do is roll out the dough with this Play-Doh rolling pin. Once I've done rolling out the pie crust, I just place it gently. Now I already picked apples for this apple pie. They are green Granny Smith apples, and they look delicious. Hmm, this doesn't exactly look like an apple pie yet. Kind of looks like a strange bird's nest. Hopefully it will look better once I add the second pie crust. All I need to do is roll out the dough like it did for the bottom pie crust. 
And I place this pie crust on top of the apples. Now I just need to pinch the dough together. Now I think it looks more like a pie. Now if this was a real pie, I'd have to bake it in the oven. But since it's just made out of Play-Doh, I can eat it now. Oh, I almost forgot the pie. I'm just going to use my hand. Don't do this at home. Awesome! My pie is finished. Should I try a bite? Hmm, why not? Here's my trusty Play-Doh knife, and I'll cut out a slice of the pie. Wow, this Play-Doh pie was it as easy as pie to make. Oh, that's such a silly joke. Well, let me try it. Mmm, -hmm, tastes good. Well, thanks for watching how I make my own apple pie. Now please click on the middle of the screen to watch my Sophia the First sleepover video. Thank you.